So I just wanted to make a short video about curly manes. I know that Denise already made a really great video about how she treats Reese's mane. Um, but Sage and I are living in a different climate. We're here in Vermont where it's quite a bit wetter and our winters are a little bit longer. So I just wanted to make a different video about what we're doing with his mane. Um, one of the things that happens with his mane is that when the springtime comes along, a lot of it just falls out without me doing very much at all. It's not staying in there by itself. And I don't think that happens with all curlies. I think Sage might have some of the extreme genes that lead to that, but it seems to happen a lot more in the springtime when things warm up. So the thing that I found that works best to keep that from happening is this stuff called MTG. It's, I guess it stands for main tail groom. And it's an antibacterial product, just like the dermal aid, but it doesn't sting them at all, even if their skin is damaged. So this is a really big bottle. You have to shake it up a lot. Um, and I did a treatment on Sage's mane about a week ago. And it seems to have helped, but he still has chunks that are about to fall out. Um, and I just do this in his mane the same way Denise showed on her video, where you just open the little squirt tab, Keep your horse to stand still. You just squirt it in and then rub it in along the root. And you really have to work it in quite a bit because, at least with Sage, his mane is really thick. He's got mane hair growing on both sides. So I often treat on one side and work it in and then go and do it again from the other side. So the other thing that I wanted to show is that I came out the other day and I hand groom Sage's mane about halfway up. So I just went through everything like this with my fingers on both sides and all this dead stuff that came out, I didn't worry about it. I didn't worry about how much was coming out of his mane. And I did that a few days ago because I wanted to see how much of the curl he would maintain. And as you can see, his hair is not quite as curly here as it is on the sections that I haven't touched yet. But it's gotten out all of the mats. And I'm hoping that will lead to him having more of his mane staying in. So I'll do this little section right here. You can see that these get all twisted up. And what generally happens if I leave them alone is that at some point the whole piece falls out and just comes out as one big piece. Back. So, a lot of his mane tends to fall out in big chunks if I don't hand groom it consistently. And I haven't found a really good solution yet for keeping all the curl in um, without him getting those mats and losing big chunks of hair. The past few summers, we've had varying degrees of success using the MTG on his mane, like once every two weeks. There was one summer where he kept most of his mane through early June, and chunks of it started falling out then. And so he'd have one big piece here, and then nothing, and then another big piece, and then nothing. And I'm really hoping to find a way that will consistently um, let him have a mane all summer long. So I just wanted to show you how his mane falls out because I think that's different from some of the other curlies. But I'm not sure. I think it'd be great if other people posted videos of their horse's manes and what they're doing to treat it too. Um, and then I went out today and picked up jojoba oil, which is something that Denise recommended for treating their manes and keeping them from getting frizzy. And as you can see, his mane is a little frizzy today. Um, in general, I don't find that that's as much of a problem as some other people experience, and I'm not sure why, if it's our different climate being moister or what, but I haven't used the jojoba oil on him in the past. So I think I'll start trying that soon, and again, I'm just going to sort of come out sections of his mane and then squirt some into the roots and comb it down through. So 
we'll see how that goes. I'm doing this right near sunset because I don't want the oil to burn his mane. Um, and if you put it on first thing in the morning and they go out in the pasture, they can end up getting sunburned right underneath their mane where you don't want them to. The last thing that I wanted to show you is how flaky he gets. I don't know if this will show up on the camera or not. Try and get a close-up of his skin. But he gets big flakes right down his, his mane, where his mane grows. And I don't know if that's something that